Hello and welcome to the 49th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX version 3C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to pop the scene. This tutorial is going to be done tutorial 48 if you haven't don't worry there will be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement it directly into your own project plus there will be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. And in the previous tutorial, what we did was we just go to a hello world scene.cpp, we created the scene and we just pushed it onto the stack. But this hello world scene still exists. Let's just show you what happens, or just a recap of what happens before we actually do any coding. Okay, so if we click play. We go to this new scene, which is this one here, and if we click go back, nothing happens. We haven't coded that yet, but the hello world scene still exists. So what we want to do, essentially, you can think of this as a pause screen. We're going to pop it, so this gets taken off the stack, and then we go back to the one below it, which is the hello world scene. And it's extremely simple. We set up the go back function in the previous tutorial. Maybe you want to do this on some sort of event has been triggered in your game. Maybe you've died and you want to go to the game over screen. And like I say, it's really simple to pop scene, just do director, colon, colon, get instance. Then you do pop scene. You don't provide it anything because you're not popping a particular scene. You're just popping the scene that's on top of the stack. And now if we just run this application. Then we click play, we come to the new scene, we click go back, we've gone back to hello world again, we click play, go back, play, go back, play, go back. Basically we're just going back from the forwards, so like say you can think of this as a game screen, you can think of this sort of like a pause screen. That's it for this tutorial, in the next tutorial we're going to show you how to replace a scene, which essentially is getting rid of the current scene so you're essentially like popping the current scene and then pushing a new scene on but that's for the next tutorial if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk the email will be in the description or you can message us via youtube or comment on this video also all the required links for the source code will also be in the description and as usual thanks for watching and have a nice day